Hi, Alex. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. So, you've been here in Pakistan for about a month now, right? Yeah, it's been a month. Okay, so what made you decide to come here? Like, it's quite an unusual choice for a travel destination, right? Yeah, Pakistan is not exactly the Bali of the world. It's not exactly London. Exactly. It's not like this giant destination where people are going. And that's precisely why I chose to come because it's, I believe from what I saw was it's a really interesting, unique location that has yet to be explored. And I'm really excited as a, uh, YouTube content creator and uh, social media influencer to be able to come here and showcase what I think is an incredible part of the world that is going through a transition period um, that is basically just welcoming all tourists of all walks of life, uh, you know, in a very open way to come visit and explore Pakistan. Yeah. Um, did you hear from like a friend who had been to Pakistan or you just decided like, okay, Pakistan, that's where I want to go. <laughs> so, you know, as a, uh, as a traveler that travels full time every day, every day of the year, um, you have to wait for opportunities to come at you. Mm. And what's happened recently in, in Pakistan is there's been a lot of initiatives by the government, a lot of initiatives by the private sector companies that have been investing in tourism. And that's exactly how I got here, is there was a private company called CPIC, okay. uh, which is doing a lot of land development, a lot of construction here uh, around Islamabad. And uh, they are trying to help promote the image of Pakistan. So okay. they bring people like myself and my colleagues and other influencers from around the world uh, to show people that this is a, a place that you can visit. It's a place that mm. is um, relatively safe yeah. and somewhere where business and investments um, should consider coming. Okay. Did it take a lot of convincing to get you to come here? No, I love, uh, <laughs> it's very easy to get me to go somewhere, to be honest. I'm sure. There's yeah, nowhere yeah. I w where I really won't go, so. Mm. Okay, that's cool. And, um, but I think still in the West, people have kind of this image that Pakistan is a dangerous country and, you know, like people don't really want to come here. Do you think that's starting to change a little bit though with all these travel bloggers such as yourself coming here and sharing content yeah you know just like when magazines do something every year they say the best location to travel to this year the best thing to go this year things are always changing in the international community yeah so from what i've seen so far is the fact that private companies like cpic are investing in just the image of pakistan the government is also opening up visas and a new website to yeah. help people come in a lot easier um, yeah, I definitely think there's a transition for a lot of efforts being put towards visiting Pakistan. Hmm. What do you think was the most surprising thing about Pakistan when you first got here? So you always hear the most valuable asset, I think, is uh, the energy of people. Mm -hmm. And I think Pakistan has exactly that. And I was told how humbling and welcoming people are. But I had no idea it was going to be this welcoming. Really? You know, just the way people treat you, the way uh, it's hard to pay for a meal, you know, people see right. you on the street and they want to pay for your tea mm -hmm. or talk to you or just have a moment with you. And I never expected that much of an open, openness from people trying to just connect with you and say, welcome to my country. I don't know you, but I've seen you here at the coffee shop a few times. Can I buy your coffee? Oh, that's so so nice. that wanting to connect is just something I didn't quite expect to this extreme. Yeah. What kind of an image did you have of the country before you came here? You know, I always have two different images. I have the image which is, um, I always think like a general tourist or a general public would think of yeah. how they see a certain place because of the news, because of the internet, because of influences. So I always have that in mind because that's the audience I have to create content for, like on yeah, my YouTube exactly. channel, right? And I have the other perspective of my experience of saying, well, I've heard people that have been there, everything's been fine. Mm. Things